Mike, and welcome back to 5 Minutes of Fantasy Sports. So let's talk football again today. Um, I was talking about the trade I was trying to work yesterday. Turns out the guy I was trading with decided to accept it. So uh, let's take a look at my team now. I wound up trading Mike Evans and Damian Harris for Aaron Jones, and I dropped Jamison Crowder off of my roster. So... Um, Kind of a mix, you know, Aaron Jones is one of the elite running backs in the league, but I've noticed his production has kind of trailed off a little bit. Um, he's been splitting a lot of carries with A.J. Dillon. Um, today, I think he's probably going to have a good game because it looks like Green Bay has a lot of snow today. But Mike Evans also has a good chance of doing well because Antonio Brown's out. And Godwin is supposed to play in Tampa Bay, but um, he's not quite fully healthy. So we'll see. I expect him to have a good game. So what I was able to do, if you take a look at my screen here, is I slid Corderell Patterson into running back. And I have Austin Eckler still as my running back, uh, Travis Kelsey, um, Dalton Schultz. And I'm still deciding between Ryan Tannehill and Kirk Cousins. The reason I think I'm going to keep um, Tannehill is because my opponent this week is playing... Uh, sorry, it has A.J. Brown. And so A.J. Brown will only catch his touchdowns from Ryan Tannehill. So that kind of gives me a little bit of a insurance, I guess you could say, where if he scores six points with the receiver, at least I'll get four. Um, but the other, the other side of that, and I'm trying to figure this out, is um, if I have Kirk Cousins and he throws touchdowns to Adam Thielen, I'll get both points on both parts of that, and he won't. I won't get any. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out if I should hedge my bets or not. Uh, so anyway, these are the kind of decisions that can help your team quite a bit. Um, I'm also starting Schultz at tight end where I could start a receiver. Um, I could start, I don't actually have any other receivers right now. So <laughs> I guess I'll be starting Schultz. I'd have to drop someone um, to start someone else. So. I guess I'll stick with Dalton Schultz then. And then hopefully next week I'll have a few more options at receiver. Um, Antonio Brown will be back. And hopefully I can move Cordell Patterson. And if Damian Harris uh, is able to play next week, he has a concussion this week. Or he's in concussion protocols, I should say. Uh, but if he's able to play next week, I can move him to my running back. And then I can move Cordell Patterson to my wide receiver. Um, and depending on Thielen, I might keep him at receiver. I might also put Antonio Brown instead, depending on who Tampa Bay is playing and how it looks for them. So anyway, uh, not sure if the trade was going to work out for my favor, but looking forward, um, you know, just looking, looking at Aaron Jones, um, he was someone who's been hit and miss this season. Um, if I go to the guy I traded with Rich's page and take a look at Aaron Jones, I saw that he's kind of been inconsistent. So he had one game, I think it was week two, where he scored three touchdowns, and he had a good game that game. But then it's kind of been, he's been consistent, but he's also been um, why is this not doing the right thing here? Aaron Jones. There we go. Um, yeah, so I mean, he had the 38 point game week two that's kind of an outlier uh he's in the 10 to 15 range he also had a 19 point game a 20 point game so he has the potential to do really well um today i think he might actually do really well but i also traded him because his buy hasn't happened yet so that's going to be a week that i don't have to worry about a buy as well because damian harris damian harris's buy is coming up but i also have uh my other running backs have had their buys too so Anyway, just things to consider and things to look at. Um, hopefully you have a nice fantasy week and hopefully everything goes well. I thought I'd do this episode before just in case anyone's listening and they can maybe get it a little early and possibly get some help from me. So that's it. I'll see everyone tomorrow.